Hey YouTube. As if I didn't know I was gonna do a video. I wait till I start and put on chapstick. Some things never change. Even though I still have videos scheduled to upload, today is November 23rd, so probably be uploaded in like a month. <laughs> so this is new for me. I haven't been in front of the camera for a while, so forgive me if I am just all over the place. I just have a few new things I wanted to show you. And yes, I am in full troll mode and an email just came through. So there's a glitch in the matrix. Excuse that. So I have a few things and I keep telling myself I'm going to try and use them sooner than later in case I don't like them because if I don't like stuff I send it back. So I don't know whether to <laughs> just do my face really quick and then get into these or to just show you what these items are. And So I'm kind of thinking just to show you what they are and then later come on and have my face done and then do a look with these items. What's new with me? Hmm, this could be a get ready with me. So let me do something while I'm sitting here. I have like no brushes out, no anything. So I'm going to do my concoction with foundation, um, primer. <laughs> I have nothing pulled out. So this is just one of those videos. Primer, foundation, and beauty oil. So I'm gonna mix up my concoction I'm going to try the um, 4W1 of the Estee Lauder Double Stay in Place, Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. This is my first time using this one. I want to see if I can get away with just, with just using this on its own on camera. This is not my perfect shade, but on camera, my perfect shade. I look a little pasty sometimes, especially when I don't have a tan. And so I purchased it on sale. Uh, one of them I purchased on sale for half off from Ulta. And the other one, um, I had enough points where I think I might have spent less than 10 bucks for it. So that's why I purchased these because they're like $43 a piece, I think. And so to just purchase additional foundations at that price point just for video, I was just like, ah, I ain't, I ain't doing that. So we're going to see what this one looks like. It has been so long since I did my face. For about a month now, I have been consistent with going to the gym. I am a member of LA Fitness. And... I specifically joined there because they have a heated pool. Because of my disability, chronic joint pain, degenerative joint disease, and several joints, and fibromyalgia, I'm not able to do a lot of exercises and things that would cause impact on my body. I am sometimes able to tolerate Zumba, but because of COVID, I'm not even sure if they're doing classes. I think last I looked, they were doing like one class, but I also have asthma. And so to physically work out with a mask on, 20 minutes in a grocery store and I'm just like rushing to get out of there so I can get outside and take the mask off and get fresh air. So trying to, even thinking of exercising in one, I'm just like, you know what? I am not even gonna push myself to that kind of limit. So, but I've been going to the pool almost every day for 90 minutes to two hours. So from 90 to 120 minutes, I am in the pool. I am not a good swimmer. I wear the snorkel mask because water has a way of going up my nose and then down my throat, which I can't stand. And so with the snorkel mask, it prevents water from going in my nose. And my brain does this weird thing where <laughs> when I'm swimming, you know how you turn your head and take a breath? My brain doesn't allow me to do that yet. And so that is something I am working on. And so I'll swim underwater doing this. <laughs> and then I alternate and then I'll go overhand, but then I have to stop when I need fresh air. So I'll just like stop, take a deep breath, go back under and finish. And I made it about five feet short of the entire length of the pool one day just on one breath and so I can tell that either my ability to hold my breath is getting stronger or my body is getting stronger and I'm getting a little quicker with getting through the water and so I'm really excited I'm kind of liking this color so I'm kind of excited well not kind of I am excited about that because 
And I also float on my, not float like this on my back, but just on my back and float. So that's kind of my cool down because this takes a lot <laughs> of energy. And so I'll go under and then I'll come back this way and then I'll float each way just as a way to just slow my heart rate down. And prior to that, I do walk in the pool for 30 to 40 minutes, just kind of as a warm up. And so I've been consistent with that for like a month and I'm really excited. It is November, the pool just opened like less than two months ago. And when I had called to see if the pool was open, they were like, yes. And I'm like, I wonder how long it's been open. Cause I was going to cancel my membership. Cause I'm like, why am I paying for a membership and can't go? But then they, when I found that the pool was open, <sighs> I do like that color and it camouflages some of my under eye discoloration so I'm not even going to put on concealer I'm not going to put on powder that dried really fast maybe because I didn't use a lot I'm liking this okay so what I have and I might have to stop the video and come back or this will just be super long um I purchased something from Target and I needed whatever no whatever additional amount to get free shipping for over $35. And so I purchased the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer. Robert Walsh talks about this all the time, so I'm like, I'm gonna just try it. And he's like, this is one of his favorites, I think. And my favorite for almost, well, almost since they came out is the Fenty Eye Primer. So I am gonna try the e.l.f. Putty Primer because if I like it as much, like this is a whole lot cheaper. Even I do have a couple backups of the Fenty Primer. And I purchased two of the e.l.f. What are these called? Bite Size Eyeshadows. This one is Truffle. The package, they didn't package this well at all. This was just in the box like this. This was just in the box like this. Like it wasn't wrapped in bubble wrap, tissue paper, or nothing. And when I touched it, there was like black hair. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, like is this completely cracked? I did clean it up but it's still messy. I'm like, they could have packaged it in something, put it in like a little piece of bubble wrap paper. But this, you see this, this is the black. <laughs> this is how it came. And I guess I should be thankful that all of them didn't crack, but this black, it was just everywhere. So I had to clean it up even on the outside. And you can see there's, well, probably not, but there's some black still here another email came through so excuse me if you saw a glitch and this there's black in here there's just like pieces and specks of black everywhere so that darkness you see in this silver that's black from this shadow over here and so i was really disappointed and there is black in here there's black up here I was really just disappointed like they couldn't have packaged that any better this one was not cracked at all this one is carnival candy and yes I was drawn to the blue and yes I do have all of these colors but I was like three dollars I needed however much to get to free shipping so I'm just like okay whatever recently Ulta had and now remember this is November 23rd or 22nd I think it's the 23rd. <laughs> it's a Tuesday. Ulta recently had where if you purchase a $100 gift card, you receive a $25 e-gift card. And I did this last year, of course, for myself. <laughs> and so I felt obligated and I was sleepy to go ahead and spend the e-gift card because they have an expiration date, whereas the regular gift cards don't. And so for my first time ever, I purchased something from ColourPop. Yes, I have never purchased from ColourPop. This is the Ornate palette and it is very pretty, the packaging. You open it up and it looks just like the box, which is great. Opened it up, it is a neutral palette. It had good reviews and I keep seeing on YouTube, ColourPop is good quality for the price, blah, blah, blah. And so I thought, you know, I'll try it. And it's neutral colors where if something doesn't go right, I can still do something with it versus getting, you know, bright, bold colors and it not working or not blending properly. And I do lean a lot towards warm tones. So this is my first ColourPop. 
and I think I'm going to come back and try this later because we're already at 10 minutes. The other thing I purchased from Ulta with the e-gift card was the Uma Black Magic Color Palette. This is my first purchase from of the uh, blue blue blue. blue. <laughs> This is my first purchase for this brand as well. So I was like, why am I like wanting to try all this new stuff? And I do know why, because I have my staples. My Natasha Denona, my Viseart. What else is over there? Uh, Fenty Moroccan palette, Pretty Vulgar palette. I have what I love. And so when I look at palettes that come out, I'm like, I already have those colors. Cause like I said, I, I lean heavily to warm tones. And so it's like, I have all the warm tones I could want. I don't particularly think I look good in cool tones. And so I kind of stay away from those unless they're just mixed in here and there, like in the Bieber palette. But anyway, so I was like, okay, what am I going to get? And this is what I got. Why am I talking like that? I don't know. This one I'm concerned because the top row looks glittery. Very pretty palette. And out of the Ulma palettes, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, this one had the best reviews. And so that's why I got this one. And I do like the packaging. I don't buy for the packaging. I know people do sometimes purchasing just for the packaging. But this top row, those are all like glitter, shimmer, something. And I'm hoping that they're not that way on the eye. I cannot do glitter because I'm a contact lens wearer and it's not good. And I really don't like all the fallout either. And so that's what that one looks like. And so I'm excited about these. And um, <clears throat> as I said, because this video is already at 13 minutes, <laughs> I think I would just do a look on each eye maybe, and then just come back and say, this is, this and this is that and just leave it that way but i do actually want to use these and i've been wanting to use them now and i had them about a week um and time just keeps getting away from me when i come back from the pool i wash my hair take my shower lotion up and put on my loungewear this is my most comfy shirt that's why there's a hole in it don't don't even act like you don't have one um <laughs> And so, and then I just kind of chill out the rest of the day. I get up, check emails, and do other stuff. And I just haven't really been like, let me just do a video. But I'm going to play in these. And I will come back and show you what I did. All right. So, thanks for watching. If you have either one of these palettes, the Ornate from ColourPop or the Uma Beauty Black Magic Carnival palette, or if you have either one of these elf palettes even though i've seen these a lot on youtube the truffles and the carnival candy and if you use the elf putty primer let me know how you you guys are liking these products um one thing i do want to add is with the color pop there's no expiration box thing that tells you how long it's good for and the uma one it says 24 months and so i did message into color pop saying i purchased this palette i don't see the little thing on there what is the shelf life once it's open and they messaged me back in like two days and said the shelf life once you open it is 24 months so if i like this palette that is really awesome and so you guys will see me real soon um both my eyes may look the same or they may look different i don't know we will see but thank you and you will see me soon